the form. I mean, uh, you know, see the storm water is probably the uh, killer. I didn't know what I said. Um, what, I'm, what I'd like to ask is a little disappointed in the war and the board members, which is just representing the whole, asked the question, how bad is the problem? And, uh, and I'm, the gentleman that just spoke, uh, you've got a local community that's doing really some testing, and it seems to me that um, that this, this particular group, entity that represents us, would be able to answer that question like this. To be able to tell us that uh, we have a spill, we don't have a spill, the water quality in the river is this. Because if you're looking at a silver spill, you want to help them be able to move forward from the state of Florida, we need to be able to identify the impact. And you mentioned businesses. And um, what I wanted to talk about was uh, I moved here three years ago from Kentucky, and I'm in Hamilton County. And uh, when, I, when I came, um, I had the well tested. And the tested, tested, what gentleman called the well's hot. That's all it's happening. He said, you got it for a lot. And he said, do you have children? And I said, yeah, I've adopted a couple of children. Let's foster parents to save water. And um, he said, probably do something about that. So I went and installed $4,500 of it. You know, basically takes care of a whole a whole house system to include you know uh, reverse osmosis in the house for uh, that secondary backup. And and in 19 I think it was 2016 that they from the commitment represent talked about it. There was like a 1.3 million and they don't remember the exact amount that was actually released. And um, yeah, I had the system installed for one week. It destroyed my system. Uh, the guy that put my system in came in and said, Hey, listen. Um, I don't have, this is not right. I should not have to fix this. Your memory is destroyed. They said, um, this is caused by Valdosta, that release. And I said, you're kidding me. And he destroyed all the filters and my reverse osmosis. So he said, we're going to fix this. You're going to have to spend another $1,500 and put in a hydrogen peroxide injection system. He said, we'll nuke this thing. He said, before this won't ever happen again. And it didn't. Uh, the system is it's holding up. It's working. But I had, you know, from my perspective, uh, it cost me a lot of money to, to fix the system. Um, to, have to, add, to add another system, that's a civil suit. You know, I mean, I'm financially being impacted by a spill. So, um, so we installed the $1,500 uh, hydrogen peroxide system. And it takes care of it. I'm a, I'm from, you know, I live in Hamilton County. We're not exactly the most affluent county in the state of Florida. And I can do that. But um, down my road, the amount of people that have had E. coli, you have to go and be hospitalized about it, has been incredible. I mean, neighbor after neighbor after neighbor. It's, it's a major, major issue. And uh, so the first question, the first point I would make is that I think the state of Florida, especially this particular water district, needs to understand how bad the problem is. And we don't need to be asking that question. We need to be stating that problem. So that if we go to the state of Georgia with our attorney general, to say, here is the condition of our water as a result of the flow. To be able to find that impact economically, that is day one. Okay, I think then we will help him be able to secure the funding that he needs. Uh, the other thing I noticed in his discussion is that um, retention ponds. It's a couple miles before it makes it to the river. That's a long ways. Retention ponds are easy. I mean, you know, we in Florida know what retention ponds are. I'm mean, pretty sure you've been in Florida for 25 years. So I mean, you actually understand it. But you can dig retention ponds overnight, and you can use that dirt to funnel. So if, if they have two miles of land, I'm assuming that's your land? No, it's public land. Public land. Um, oh, that's public. Okay. If, if they can expand those retention ponds, which they can do in, in with a minimal amount of just diesel and some truck, you know, and some, and some equipment, and expand those retention ponds, we can look, I think we could hold, I mean, when they're looking at 30 million gallons, and they're, you know, they're only capable of doing X number of million, that's a big issue. You know, I'm, I'm happy to know that it's being, for me personally, that there's a lot of storm water going into that, when they do have a spill, that's certainly going to help mid parts per million, I get that. But, you know, from my perspective, what I wanted you to hear is that it destroyed my system. That's, that's not just the drinking water. There's something really bad in that it would destroy a membrane in a water filtration system. 
our county, our and Jasper County buys a filter for eight thousand dollars that he said, which is our county commissioner, when he addressed our um, uh, congressional district, you know, our state congressional group body when they were in Jasper a few weeks ago, said that's supposed to last six months. He says I'm replacing that filter every month. And, and he, he gave the congressional district a spreadsheet that every spill that had occurred for like the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years, handed the congressional district. So this is a very old problem. And what I'm not hearing from you guys is how, you know, I'm glad they're working on it. I'm real, I'm real happy about that, okay? And I can tell they've made improvements. But the reality of it is, I don't want to hear you all talk about this problem everywhere else. I want a solution from the state of Florida. And the state of Florida, in my mind, is a civil action, okay? Well, you guys get our state attorney, uh, state attorney talking to their state attorney to say, you're gonna fix this, okay? I'm tired of you guys when you're talking about it. I mean, this thing's been going on for 10 years. Our Senate represented it. Oh, Give me a break, man. You've been at this 10 years, and you, and you know this problem's existed this bad. We've got people's health that are being extremely impaired, and now we've got equipment that we as citizens are taking on our own to protect ourselves being destroyed. And I think it's something you guys need to really jump on. Okay? And I think it's a, it's a bigger issue than you. It needs to be something that's done at the, our legislative body where the governor gets involved, talk to the governor of Georgia, okay, to say, listen, you're impacting us economically and you're impacting even worse the health of our people.